Welcome back to Tennis Talk. My name's Cam Williams, and we are going to be watching the videos that I predicted for the Slam Champions last year for both the men and the women's champions, and also go through your predictions, because you guys picked your champions for the season. All right, we're gonna start with the Australian Open predictions for the 2021 Australian Open. Let's see how close we were. All right, so the Australian Open, it's only about a month and a half away. It's very close. Let's go through your predictions, and this was the overwhelming favorite. You guys have predicted that it's gonna be Naomi Osaka is going to win the Australian Open. So she is the current US Open champion. She won the Australian Open two years ago. So she has won this event before. So not a big surprise picking her again. But you picked Naomi Osaka. Now let's go through my pick. I have also picked Naomi Osaka. So no surprise there. So there you go. We both got it correct. We got that one right. Osaka winning the Australian Open. You picked it. I picked it. So hey, what a great start. We both picked who actually was going to win the Australian Open. Uh, look, she was coming off a great end of the season, so I guess it wasn't a big shock that we picked her, but hey, one for one. Let's go check out the men's predictions. So the men's Australian Open 2021 title, you guys picked, I guess, the best Australian Open player of all time, Novak Djokovic. So you guys picked Novak Djokovic to win the men's title. Good pick, solid pick. He's the defending champ. He's won the title more, I think, than anybody else. Definitely any active players at the moment. But let's go with my pick now. So I'll pick something a little bit different. I've gone with Dominic Team. I think Dominic Team is going to win this event. He proved last year he was only one set away from winning the whole thing last year. And of course, he's got the US Open title now in his back pocket. So I'm going to go with Dominic Team. So you guys picked Novak Djokovic. I picked Dominic Team. You guys got it right. He played so well. Even though he was injured throughout that tournament, somehow pulled it out in the end. Uh, I picked Team. Team was injured also and just looked so tired throughout that whole tournament. And of course, when you're looking at the entire year for Dominic Team, didn't play well throughout the whole season. Uh, injury hurt him as, as well that second half of the season. So I thought Team could maybe use that US Open as a springboard for winning more slams and being more of a contender. He lost too early and I had no chance. So you guys picked both the Australian Open champions last year. So kudos to you. All right, let's go check out the Women's French Open champion and who you pick. Of course, Iga Sviontek is the defending champion. Ash Barty won it back in 2019. But you guys have predicted that the winner of the 2021 French Open is going to be Simona Halep. So you pick Simona Halep. I think she's the queen of clay. And you guys also agree with me. So you think that she is going to win that event. Now let's go through my predictions. Who do I think is going to win the French Open? I also I think it's going to be Simona Halep. Okay, so let's be honest. We uh, we stuffed that one up. Uh, <laughs> look, we didn't know that she was going to get injured, did we? She got injured before uh, the uh, the French Open was going to be even on. She didn't even play Wimbledon, so she didn't play for a while with that injury of the calf muscle. And of course, Krejcikova won. Who was going to pick Krejcikova? Nobody even knew who, that she was a singles player this time last year. So look, I'll give us both a pass on that one because we both thought that Simona Halep was going to win and she didn't even play. So you can't predict injuries. Okay, let's move on to the clay court season. Let's go to the Roland Garros predictions. You guys picked, you guys picked Rafa Nadal and no surprise there. I mean, obviously he's the overwhelming favorite to win that event. Maybe Dominic Team, maybe Novak Djokovic are second and third favorites, but Nadal, definitely the favorite 13 time champion. He won this year. He's only lost a couple of matches at the event in his whole career, so definitely the solid pick. And now let's go to my pick. I've also gone Rafa Nadal. It's so hard to pick against Rafa at the French Open. So again, we're on the same page. We both picked uh, picked Rafa, and, and look, no surprise. Of course, he didn't win it, so we both got it wrong. Uh, lost to Djokovic. Who would have known that Djokovic was going to do what he did this year, winning pretty much everything? So he beat Rafa along the way, and look, we picked Rafa. Again, he was the favorite and the king of clay, so why not go with the king? Uh, look, we didn't pick the greatest picks for the French Open. Of course, the women's side is so random, we never know what's going to happen there. But look, picking Rafa, not the worst pick, and he lost to the eventual champion in Novak anyway. So the Wimbledon title, haven't seen anybody play on the grass for almost two years once we get to Wimbledon. So this one's a tough one to pick, just like it was with the men, and you have picked Simona Halep to win. So you think Simona Halep is going to defend her title from back in 2019? She played a hell of a final against Serena Williams in the 2019 Wimbledon final. I've gone a little bit different with this one. I've decided that I'm going to pick Serena Williams. I think she's going to win at least one Grand Slam next year, and I think Wimbledon's her best chance. Uh, well, look. Not our best picks. Again, Halep didn't play Wimbledon just like she didn't play the French Open. So again, that's a little bit of a tough one. Uh, and Serena got injured in that first round. She played six games and then she got injured. So we both picked players that didn't play the entire tournament and then actually either withdrew uh, during the tournament or before. So very tough. 
And again, uh, maybe in hindsight, Barty was an obvious pick, and maybe Sabalenka or Kerber or Pushkova, who made it to the semifinals of this year's event, maybe we could have picked them. But again, we hadn't watched Wimbledon for two years. We didn't know who could play on grass. Now that we know, this year's predictions might be a little different. But Barty got the win in the end. We both picked the finals from two years ago. Neither of them played. So it was tough. Let's go to the men's predictions now. Of course, we didn't get Wimbledon in 2020. So it's been, well, it would be 24 months by the time we get to Wimbledon next year in 2021. So who knows who's going to win it? Let's go through the predictions. So the Wimbledon men's prediction, you guys have gone with Novak Djokovic, defending champion, of course, beat Federer in that epic 2019 match, saving championship points, came back to win. And now let's go through my picks. I have also picked Novak Djokovic. And like I just said, it's so hard to make an argument for anybody else. There you go. So we picked Novak. And again, like I said in that video, it was so hard to pick anybody else besides him. Uh, who would have thought Shapovalov, her catch? Who would have thought her catch would make the semis? Uh, Berrettini, who would have thought he'd make the final? So we went with the Novak Djokovic pick, and luckily for us, I guess he won. All right, so the US Open title for 2021. We've got the predictions ready to go, and you have picked for the ladies' event, for the ladies' US Open title for 2021, Naomi Osaka. So you have gone with the defending champion. She won it last year. She's won it twice before. You're sticking with Osaka. You think she's going to defend the title and win it again? I've gone something a little different. Now, like I said with the men's video, Random champions happen at the US Open, and I'm going to pick a random champion again. Another first-time winner of a Grand Slam, and I think it's going to be Karolina Pliskova. I think with a new coach, she's been to the final at the US Open before, so she knows how to play well there. I think with the new coach, she could get over the edge. So look, no one picked Raducanu. There was no way anyone would have thought Raducanu. This time last year, Raducanu was not even playing tennis on the main circuit. Nobody had heard of her, so... I think we can both get a pass out of that one. Osaka lost to Fernandez, who ended up making the final. Uh, and Pliskova, I think, lost in maybe the fourth round or the quarterfinals. So she did okay, uh, but nowhere near winning. Neither of them were anywhere near winning it. And we all know, like I said in that video, in that first part, that random champions happen at the US Open. And that definitely happened. Raducanu was the most random champion of all time, potentially. So, uh, look, it's a tough one to pick. WTA tennis is very hard to pick, but we both went with... Maybe some logic, and logic just went out the window. Let's go check out the men's champion predictions. Okay, so for the US Open champion of 2021, it's a long way away, so we're picking really, really early here. But you guys have picked 2019 champion Rafa Nadal, overwhelming favorite. There was an argument there for Djokovic. A lot of people were picking Djokovic, but Nadal definitely was the overwhelming favorite from you guys. So Nadal is your prediction. But like I said, random champions come out of the US Open and I've gone with a bit of a random champion. I'm gonna pick, I'm gonna pick Daniel Medvedev to win his first ever major and it's gonna be at the US Open now. He made the final in 2019, lost in five sets to Rafa. He made the semifinals this year, lost to Dominic Team in a couple of close tiebreakers and he probably could have won the whole thing had he have won those tie breaks and beaten team. All right, so look, Rafa didn't play. We all know he got injured before the tournament. So he didn't play the US Open. And you guys, went, like I said in that video, you guys did pick Djokovic as your number two favorite and he made the final. So maybe if Djokovic was the pick, it wouldn't have been as wild if because, you know, Rafa, of course, didn't play. But I picked Medvedev and he made me look like a genius. So uh, Medvedev, he got the win, of course. So I got that one right. Uh, but look, it's never easy picking 12 months in advance. Uh, it's never easy picking women's tennis. We all know that. Tell you what, three out of eight, that's not terrible, especially because we picked this 12 months in advance and half of the predictions we picked withdrew from injury anyway. So I guess there's an asterisk next to a couple of those, those predictions, especially the Rafa and the S uh, Simona Halep. Uh, picks as well. So let me know down in the comments below. If you did your own predictions for the tournaments, let me know who you picked and how many you got right because I think a lot of the Novak Djokovic fans got three out of four right because you guys pick him for everything, uh, which is all right. Hey, look, he wins every time. So why not, right? But on the women's side, how many did you get? 